At last. After all these years, I finally got to see the Mario movie. And I want to talk about it. Enough chit chat, let's get into it. First, let's talk about my positive thoughts. As a Mario fan, I had a blast watching this movie. The easter eggs, the references, the action. This movie is filled with fan service. Not just for Mario fans, but also for Nintendo fans as well. Or for people who grew up playing arcade games in the 80s. And I gotta say, Chris Pratt did a pretty good job. Sure, he's not doing the voice, but I think he did pretty well. That actually felt bad about being butthurt that he voiced him when I saw the trailers. As for the other actors, I think they did pretty good as well. Charlie Day was a great choice for Luigi. Keegan Michael Key was perfect as Toad. Jack Black was amazing in this. I love Bowser in this movie. Some fans apparently hated that he's a simp for Peach, but that's always been his character, so I didn't have a problem with it. I also like that he's an irredeemable psychopath, which we don't see as much in movies, so it's cool when a movie has one. As for the rest of the characters, I think the movie did a great job portraying them. Mario's a bit different in this movie, but still felt like Mario. Luigi's that funny little coward that we know and love. And this version of Donkey Kong reminds me of him in Punch Out for Wii, which I like. Mario and Luigi's interaction with each other is incredibly wholesome. I hate the Mario is a terrible brother theory that seeing their dynamic in this movie makes me so happy. Next positive thought is the music. As a fan of the music in Mario, I love that they put the music from the games into the movie, especially the ones from the modern games. Like there's actually one from a game that's pretty new, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty much all the positive stuff I wanted to discuss. I mean, if this was a spoil review, I would talk more about the action scenes. Same with the Easter eggs, but it isn't, so I won't. I will now talk about my mixed thoughts about this movie, starting with Peach. I was never one of those fans that was like, oh no, she's gonna be woke in this. I thought it was cool since it seemed like they were taking the inspiration of her in the comics, which is my favorite version of her. It would make sense that she's a girl boss since she's a leader and her being a guy to help Mario I thought was a pretty good idea. The fear I had was, are they going to change her completely? And I felt like they did do that. She wasn't really Peach in the games, she was a completely different character. There's also this scene that would have been perfect for Mario to rescue her without her being a damsel in distress, but we didn't get to that, which was kind of disappointing. Again, I don't have a problem with her being a strong character, I pretty much expected it, but I wish they made her more like her in the games while still making her a girl boss. Oh, I know I almost forgot to mention, while well, speaking about the positive stuff in this movie, Charles Martinet makes a cameo, and when I first heard his voice, my inner child sparked with joy. I love Charles Martinet, he's one of my favorite VAs of all time. I wish Nintendo didn't announce that he was going to be in it, because I felt like his cameo would be more exciting if they kept it a secret. My last mixed thought of this movie is the humor. I wanted the humor to be more like the games where it's simple yet charming. The humor in this movie were just jokes that had been reused in family movies that just gets pretty old. There were times when I thought the jokes were kind of funny, but not super funny. Well, what should I know about humor? This is coming from a guy who only laughs at his friends' stupid jokes, and in some rarely random occasions in media. Now it's time to get into the worst part of my reviews. My negative thoughts about this movie. I thought the pacing was weird. There were times where they had some emotional moments and scenes that added to the story and then the scene is like, Oh no, we, we got no time for that, uh, we're like, next scene! I didn't really like that. Especially moments that I wish they expanded a bit more. I also hate that Luigi is hardly in this. I was fine with him being kidnapped, it made sense to further the plot, and it made Mario such an interesting character. That he's willing to risk his life to save his brother. And it made me love him even more. I wish Luigi at least did something. He does have his moment at the end, but I just wish he was a big part in this movie, like Peach and Paper Mario, where even though she was kidnapped, she did do things and she was a big part in those stories. It would have been cool for Luigi to gain some bravery and maybe help the others that got kidnapped, but we didn't get to that. So I'm kind of disappointed with Luigi, to be honest. There's also popular 80s music in this movie, which, as much as I like those songs, it felt weird for them to be playing in a Mario movie. I wish they'd just stick with the music in the game, since that's all I care about. Last thing I wanted to talk about is that Spike from Wrecking Crew is in this, which is cool, but there's no reason for him to be in this movie. He doesn't really add much to the story, so it's kind of weird that he's in it. The only thing I liked about him being in it is that scene of him bullying Luigi and Mario being like, you don't act like that to my brother. Again, I really love the brotherly love that Mario and Luigi have in this movie. Well, that's pretty much all I had to say in this review. Would I recommend it? If you're a huge Mario fan like me, you would probably love this movie. It is straight up fan service all the way through. 
This is also a good movie to bring your kids to see, especially if they're Mario fans as well. But if you're not familiar with the games, it's not worth going to see in theaters. The plot is very simple and generic and the pacing is bad, so you won't have a fun time watching. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. If they make a sequel to this, I would be fine with it. I wanted to be based off the Mario Land series where Wario is the main villain and Daisy's one of the main characters. That would be awesome. And Charles Martinet better play Wario if that happens. I've heard him speak in full sentences. He will not be annoying in the movie. I'd rather they start working on other movies using different IPs. Like I want a Zelda movie, a Star Fox movie, a Metroid movie, a Kirby movie would be cool, a Luigi's Mansion, yes please, oh and a Wario Land movie. Now that would be sick. There's tons of IPs they can use for movies. So I wanted them to work on those. I want a Zelda movie, please. I know there are rumors that they're making a Donkey Kong movie, which is fine, but uh, I really want them to make a Zelda movie though. Anyway, I'm going to end this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.